Um, oh my god, it has a skill of 10. And it's got little pincers. What the heck kind of fly is this? That's not a, that's not a fun fly at all. I don't like... Good morning, everyone. I'm Dave from the Wee Hours, and we are back with Fighting Fantasy Legends Portal deep in Death Trap Dungeon. Well, deep. We're actually only in the first few rooms here, but we've, we've done moderately okay. We've taken some hits, but we've got some health back, and we're basically sort of plugging along after going through the lava room and then getting stuck with a trap here in this room with this dead barbarian. Let's get out of this room and keep moving along through Death Trap Dungeon here. The hardest fighting fantasy, in my opinion. The passage soon leads to a junction. You notice more footprints on the floor heading north. You decide to follow them. Alrighty. We're still trying to find out what's happening to all our competitors. We found one of the barbarians dead, so we know what happened to him. There is a large idol in the center of this cavern. Run away from it. Just leave. You know what? We're all set. Just go home. Not large idol in the middle of Death Trap Dungeon. This is not going to end well. Standing approximately six meters high, it has jeweled eyes, each as big as your fist. There are two giant stuffed bird-like creatures standing on either side of the idol, which are clearly going to come to life if I try and get the jewels out of there. I mean, is anybody going to be surprised by that? Is a single person going to be surprised that I'm going to try and get these jewels out of here and those birds are going to come to life? The idol is very smooth and will be difficult to climb. Okay, I, I don't want to climb it. Um, well, actually, I don't have to. I could just leave. I do have the rope, though. I did get that rope in the last episode. Let's give it a shot. I mean, it's, it's popping up like use the rope. So you make the rope into a lasso, whirl it above your head, and throw it at the idol's head, smiling happily as it falls around its neck. Okay. Tighten the noose and start to climb. Oh, what's going Okay, and we're at the top of the idol. Which jeweled eye would you like to prize out first? How about neither of them? How about none of them? Not one of the eyes. Oh, left, right, left, right. My little 12-year-old memory of fighting fantasy is, is saying there is actually a specific order that you need to do this in, but I don't remember what it is. It's been a long time since I was 12 years old. Uh, the right eye. You try to force the emerald eye from its socket. Much to your surprise, it shatters, releasing a jet of poisonous gas straight into your face. Thanks, Ian Livingston. Appreciate that. Six stamina gone. Oh, my goodness. You could prize the left eye or climb back down the idol. Well, we may as well give it a shot. Left eye. As you touch the emerald eye of the idol, you hear a creaking sound below you. That'll be the stuffed birds coming to life. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Th thank you, Ian Livingston. Looking down, you are shocked to see the two stuffed birds taking flight. Their wings flap in jerky movements, but they are soon above you and look set to attack. Of course they do. Fight these flying guardians one at a time, but roll two fewer skill dice because of your restricted position. Okay, can I use my healing potion now? I would like to do that, actually. Yes, thank you. I would love to do that. Thank you. Okay. Yes, my stamina is back up to its set amount, its full amount. Flying Guardian with a skill of 8. We have a skill of 10, but we did get a little boost to our skill in the last episode for leveling up. So, all right, let's see what's going to happen here. Roll some dice. What do we got here? Two. And he's going to get what here? Another two. I think that's a hit. Right, do we hit him? Uh, I, I honestly, I'm in a little trouble telling. Oh, what's the gold one do? I, I didn't see it. Wait, wait, come back, come back. What does the gold thingy do? I want to know what the gold thingy does. Oh, 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 this is not... I'm glad I took that stamina potion. Come on, give me some good rolls here. Yep. This is working a little differently from the traditional text-based ones. You did not hit me. Oh, you did hit me. So, we're taking hits whether we win or not. More like a real fight here. Okay, we got one of them down. Good. From what I... I'm still a little... It's a little vague on the dice things. It seems the better we do, the more damage we do. But even if they do poorly, they're still taking a few knocks at us here. Yeah, roll... I wouldn't mind finding another healing potion real soon. That would be super. Well, that was a big hit on that guy, I think. Yeah, three stamina down on him. Now, he still got a hit in. So, just because we win the skill check doesn't mean we're taking no damage. That's sketchy. 
That's that's unfortunate. Really glad I took that healing potion or we'd be dead right now. Uh, that looks like a decent roll. I don't know what the gold ones do. Well, whatever the gold one did, we did it. Oh, and I get XP for that. Um, yeah, let's keep upgrading our skill, I think. Let's, although we did just fail that luck check. But yeah, let's let's keep on the skill thing. We're, we're going to need to be winning these fights better. All right, good. You look down and see the crumpled bodies of the Flying Guardians lying motionless on the floor. Start to prize out the Emerald Eye with the tip of your weapon. As it comes free, you are surprised by its weight. You put it in your backpack. Precious gem taken from the idol's eye socket. Well, this better darn well be useful in the future. You lower yourself carefully down the idol and wasting no more time in the cavern, move on. Now, do I still have my rope? Did I get my rope back? Okay, go where we're going. I want to check our inventory here. Yeah, uh, do I still have my rope? I do. Okay, super. So I did reclaim my rope. Excellent. So we've got a door to our left, or we could keep going straight. Let's try the door. I want to see if we can find our competitors here and see what happened to them. That's part of our... Oh, God. You see a great ogre standing over two meters tall. This is not one of our competitors. He attacks you with a large wooden club. That is a very large wooden club he has. You're not lying about that. And it's got, like, teeth and bone in it. This, this just just an ogre hanging out in a room, waiting to kill people. I, I hope he's getting paid well by Baron Succumbit. Oh, skill of seven. That's that's not nothing at all. All right, let's uh, let's get our fighting on here. Wouldn't mind finding another healing potion. That'd be super. Okay, good solid hit on him, but he's still gonna get a knock in on us. Which I don't think it's very fair. We won the fight. Oh, that looks like a really good hit. Yeah, are we gonna nail this guy. Yeah, we just crippled that guy. Awesome, super, and that'll be some XP too, I imagine. Um, what do we... Yeah, we've killed the Ogre, we've killed the Flying Guardian. I don't have the Healing Potion, right? No, I, I've definitely used it. It doesn't regenerate or anything fun like that. No, that would be far too simple. Okay, well, that, that ended. Let's get out of here. I wouldn't mind finding some food or anything like that. Ahead of you, you see a thin shaft of light coming out of the tunnel wall. It sparkles and shimmers, and you can see images of laughing faces in the light. All right, all right, Ian Livingston... I've seen Indiana Jones. I, I know you never walk into the light because there's going to be some horrible trap. So, no, I'm going to avoid the light, actually. We're actually going to do something reasonably intelligent and then avoid the light. That was probably some free heal. There's probably a bunch of, like, happy pixies in there who are going to heal me for nothing. Okay, we can go to the right, and there's there's something in there. It looks gross and disgusting. It looks like a bunch of intestines on the wall, but there's something in there. Or we can just keep going straight. Oh. Uh, let's well, let's just poke our head in the door and see what's going on. A soft humming sound fills the air in this room. There appears to be a shallow pit filled with a mass of writhing worms. Get out. Just get out. You're about to turn away when you notice that their bodies are swarming around a dagger. It's point held fast in a crack in the pit floor. Ooh. Okay, taking the dagger would mean plunging your hand in among the writhing worms, which will probably not end well. Are we going to reach for the dagger? Yeah, no, we're going to reach for the dagger. My 12-year-old my brain is saying there's something really good with the dagger, but my 12-year-old brain could be lying to me. It's, it's entirely possible. I, I don't trust my 12-year-old self as far as I can throw him. Let's reach for the dagger. A find weapon found in a pit of writhing worms. Is that it? Do we just get it? Do we just get out of here? Yes! Oh, Lord. I knew it wasn't going to be that easy. As you make your way back to the doorway, the buzzing sound increases in intensity. Of course, it couldn't be that simple. A giant fly swoops down on you from the roof of the cavern and swipes at you with one of its legs. Test our luck. We need a two. Come on, two. That looks good to me. That looks like a two. Yes, we are lucky. To heck with you, giant fly. We're out of here. We're, oh, except we got to fight it now. Prepare yourself and attack the giant fly. Okay, good. Yay. Um, oh my god, it has a skill of ten. And it's got little pincers. What the heck kind of fly is this? That's not a, that's not a fun fly at all. I don't like this fly. Did it just boost our... Oh, that looks like a really solid hit on that guy. Yeah, okay. 
One hit to me, that's fine. Kind of get in the head. It seems like the more points we get, the more damage we do. That seems to be how this is going down. And even when he gets nothing, basically he's getting one hit. Uh, that's, ooh, that's not the best roll we've ever done. Yep, that was two. Now, see, you get nothing. Okay, that's a flat-out miss. All right, so I'm starting to get the hang of it. However many points we're getting seems to be how much damage we're going to do. Because he got no points and he did no damage. All right, I'm sort of getting the hang of this, kind of, a little bit. Um, what are the gold ones, though? I don't know what the gold ones do. Well, whatever it is, we killed him. Dice upgrade. Fantastic. Skill up. Uh, I got to feel we keep putting it into skill. We're doing a lot more fighting than we are luck checking right now. We'll put some points into luck down the road. But let's just keep the skill moving in a positive direction here. You wipe the vile yellow slime from your weapon and continue north. Now, can I have the dagger? Can I use the dagger instead of my primitive sword here? Okay, we can go left or we can go right. Let me just look at the inventory. No, that's not my inventory. Can I use this? Because this dagger has got two stars and my short sword has only got one. So I would, I would like to use the dagger. Do I get to use this? Hmm, I don't know. Maybe that will come up. Maybe we'll have an option the next time we get into a fight. Uh, left or right? Left. I, I guess. Okay. Oh, there's a question mark thingy over here. That's going to be a random encounter. Let's go check it out. I mean, it's probably a horrible monster or a trap, but it might be treasure. Might be treasure. Maybe it'll be a healing potion. A bandage! Oh, super! That's, that's handy. Use this bandage to remove one injury from your skill dice. Yeah, I'm totally taking that. Absolutely. That was a good random encounter. All right. Easy enough. Let's get out of here. Let's keep moving in this direction to the west-ish sort of area. Oh, this seems to be kind of a dead end here. A large mirror stands at the other end of this room, and in the dim light, you can just about make out your own reflection. Okay. You could enter the room and investigate the mirror or return to the last junction in the tunnel in order to head east. All right, here's the deal game. I have played a lot of Dungeons & Dragons in my time. No mirror is a good mirror. Any mirror means that there is going to be a horrible, evil doppelganger that is going to pop out and try to murder you. That's how fantasy works. All mirrors are bad. All mirrors will produce an evil doppelganger that will pop out and try and murder you. I'm not doing it. I'm out. You, you can keep the mirror. You can keep the mirror. It's not going to happen. It will absolutely be an evil doppelganger. Uh, there's a hole in the floor. Should we address that? In front of you is a deep, dark pit. The passage continues east on the other side. You think you could probably jump over the pit, but you're not sure. I don't really have an option. It's this or my evil doppelganger, so... I guess I gotta try and jump across. It's probably gonna be a luck check. I oh no, it's a skill skill check. Okay, well it's target score of two. I I think we can probably do that. Yeah, we got that. We got that all day. Glad I've been putting these points into skill. All right, yeah, we are skillful there. That little boost of experience for managing that little nonsense. Now what? What what do you got for me, Baron Succumbit? Door, or we could keep going down the corridor. Well, we haven't really had any luck with rooms. Let's see if our luck will change. Probably not. Oh, that looks deadly. The walls of this room are lined with the most extraordinary lifelike statues of knights and warriors. And by lifelike, you mean they're going to come to life and try to murder me, aren't you? Okay, an old man dressed in tattered rags suddenly jumps out from behind one of the statues and starts to giggle. Oh, fighting fantasy does love its insane old people. It's just a running theme. In a high-pitched voice, he says, Oh, good, someone else has come to play my little game. Behind me lies a chest filled with mysterious treasures. I will allow you to take one treasure from the chest if you answer a question correctly. Okay. If you answer incorrectly, you must leave this room at once. Yeah, I'll, I'll answer a question. Sure. I mean, doesn't seem to be a downside. If I answer incorrectly, I can just leave. Hopefully. I'm sure that's not correct. The old man points at one of the statues and smiles. This man weighs 100 pounds plus half his weight. How much does he weigh? Oh dear. Math is not my strong point, nor are math problems. Or civilian when I need her. She's good at this stuff. Um, okay, let me have a little think about this. 
Okay, it's got to be 200 pounds, right? It's got to be 200 pounds. I'm really not good at math problems. I'm, I'm terrible at this kind of thing. But 100 pounds plus half of 100 of 200 pounds is 200 pounds. So 100 pounds plus half his weight. If his weight is 200 pounds, then half of that is 100 pounds. 100 pounds plus 100 pounds is 200 pounds. So I'm going 200 pounds. Am I right? The old man looks at you and says, Well done, stranger. You have answered correctly. Your reward is to take one mystery item. Oh, God, I don't want a mystery item in Baron Succumbit's Death Trap Dungeon. Okay. You open the chest and pull something out. Please let it be a healing potion. A learning tome. Ooh. Old book which describes training techniques plus 10 XP. Super. A little, little tiny tick of XP there. That's nothing awful. Bid the old man farewell and leave his room to continue north along the passage. As you head towards the door to leave the room, oh dear God, what now? You notice that the statue the old man pointed at is the knight who started the Trial of Champions. Ooh, I think it's probably a good thing we got this guy's question right. I don't think he was going to let us walk out the door at all. An agonized look on his face set in stone for all eternity. Ooh. I think it's a really good thing that we got his question right. I don't think he was going to let us walk out the door at all. And we've completed a quest. We've learned what happened to the knight. That will be another dice upgrade. I think I'm going to do one more into skill. I really want this. The skill seems to be the important thing right now. And then probably the next one I'll put a point into luck. Uh, just, just to keep that moving up. I mean, it's not like we're doing no luck rolls here. All right, what do we got? You see another door, another closed door in the left-hand wall. The letter X is scratched into its panel. Okay, what, what do you got? Putting your ear to the door, you listen intently but can hear nothing. Well, we, you know we're going to try the door. You know we're going to try the door. That just goes without saying. Uh, what do we got here? There's a stone chair in the middle of the room. Sitting in the chair is a skeleton of an armed warrior, possibly a contestant from years gone by. And I'm noticing the big stone dios over here with a big skull and crossbones on it. So probably don't stand on that. Skeletal fingers of its right hand are gripped around a piece of parchment. Okay, we could look at that or we could go stand on the death stone over here. Let's try and look at the parchment. Please don't come to life and murder me. Yep, it's going to come to life and murder me. As you approach the skeleton warrior, it rises from its chair in a series of jerky movements and raises its sword to strike you. Nobody is surprised by this, Ian Livingston. Everything wants to murder me. It's Death Trap Dungeon. Okay. Yep, that sure is a skeleton warrior, and he's uh, he's got three stars, and I don't really know what that means. But I'm sure it's not good for me. I'm sure it's it's not in my positive win column. I only got a skill of six, though. I, I think all the skill points we've been dumping in, we should be able to handle this. I'd really like to find a healing item, like, now, basically, because our stamina is not so great. Not so great at all. Yeah, he's, he's, he's not doing nothing at all to us. Really seems the point of these skill points is you want to take him out immediately. You reach for the parchment, only this time is lying amidst a pile of broken bones. All right, unfolding it, you see a map of a room with the drawing of a hideous creature inside it. Beneath the monster is a rhyme. What does it say? If you meet a manticore of its tail, beware. Shield yourself against the spikes flying through the air. Yeah, no kidding. Everybody knows what a manticore does. Everybody knows that. I'm sorry, have you, have you never played Dungeons & Dragons or any other fantasy game? Obviously, a manticore's got tails and it spikes. You didn't, I didn't need a rhyme for that. I can go with my basic experience. Um, are we going to stand on the Death Stone? I'm, I'm going to say no, but we're probably going to do it anyway. We really need a healing item. We really, really... And actually, it's the only option I've got. We pretty much have to stand on the Death Stone. That's, that's the only thing the game is letting me do. Oh, it's actually a staircase. All right. Oh, random encounter. Please be something nice. See something lying on the ground. What? What? A lucky clover. Pop one of these into your mouth to remove one curse from a luck die. Okay. Cool. That's neat. We have, we've done well with the random encounters so far. Not so much with the actual death trap dungeon, but the random encounters were... Oh, God. I probably just jinxed myself. Here we go. See something lying on the ground. What is it? A skill potion. Pass one skill test. Ooh. Okay. So... 
got something really sketchy on the skill area, we can just pass it immediately. That is good. That is good. Um, up or down? Up or down? Well, this will kind of take us back into the area we were. Sort of. Let's, let's, let's head down this way. Can I take any of those swords or weapons that are on that table? Maybe? I, I feel like I should be better equipped. Door. Continue get going down the corridor. Let's, well, you know what? Not one room has been kind to us. Let's see if we can break that tradition. Nope, probably not. This looks awful. The door opens into a small room in which there is a human skull with jeweled eyes resting on the top of a marble plinth. Okay. Um, let's, can we just leave? Two loaded crossbows are fixed to the left and right hand walls, and two small wooden balls lie on the floor. Oh, this just got all Indiana Jonesy. All right. Pick up the skull or throw a ball at the skull. Uh, throw a ball at the skull. Or we could just leave. We could just leave. What is my risk reward ratio here? What could possibly be in this room that's actually good? I don't know. That's the problem. Maybe we need those jewels in the skull's eye. And we got that jewel from the statue. Do we need to be, like, collecting jewels for something later? We don't really have the stamina right now to be taking any more hits. I'm out. I'm out. I'm, I'm just, I'm not dealing with the skull ball throwing crossbow issue at all. I need to find a healing item. You find yourself in what looks like a gallery lined with mirrors. Oh god, more mirrors. They're all gonna murder me. Every single one of them is gonna murder me. A human skeleton appears to be pulled halfway through a mirror along the right-hand wall. This is what I'm saying. No mirror in any fantasy world set is good. They're all evil. All mirrors are evil. Nobody should have a mirror if you're in a fantasy realm. Oh, dear. Suddenly, a grotesque being with four arms and four screaming faces emerges from the mirror, barring your way ahead. Of course it does. It's a mirror demon from another dimensional plane. Attack or smash the mirrors? Gotta figure, smash the mirrors. That, that just goes without saying. You swing your sword against the mirror with all your might, but to no effect. The mirror does not break, and the mirror demon advances. Why not? Mirror, uh... You want to try? Yeah, try again. Test your skill. Target score of three. Okay, we, we might be able to manage this. Or we could use our skill potion. No, I'm going to take a shot on the dice because we've been bumping our skill up a lot and we did not make that. We did not make that at all. Nope, not even a little bit. Clumsy. Second blow also fails to smash the mirror. Mirror Demon reaches out, grabs your wrist, and pulls you towards the mirror. Its strength is incredible, and despite all your efforts, you cannot resist. With every second, you come closer to the mirror, and you feel your conscience fading. Oh, power of the Mirror Demon is immense, and its four faces are the last thing you see. You fall to the ground, and everything goes black. Should have used the skill potion. You have lost a life, but we have eight more lives to go through because unlike the traditional text-based fighting fantasy that we've been doing, we've just got a number of set lives and we're going to keep going. We are absolutely going to keep going with fighting fantasy legends portal. I am determined to try and get through at least death trap dungeon with eight more lives. So we will pick that up again the next time we'll pick right up where we left off and we'll be regenerated and rejuvenated and, I hope I get all my stamina back. Otherwise, this is going to get really squirrely. But we'll pick it up again next time. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours. And we'll see you next time.